what's up everybody? Welcome back to Playing With Plastic. I am the Big Cat. And in today's video, we are going to be checking out the brand new Invisible Woman from Marvel Select. Now I've decided with Marvel Select figures that I'm going to start with them in package like this because once you open it, the package is pretty much gone. Garbage. So we'll just take a look at this quickly. The standard Marvel Select packaging, which I'm not complaining about. Um, the fact that they've been using the same packaging might be the reason why they can give so much more than <clears throat> Hasbro. But, uh, yeah, there's the uh, doo -doo proof of purchase. And shout out to Crossover Comics. You guys rock over there. If you're in the Montreal area, they are on Notre Dame Street. Check it out. All right, let's open her up. All right, so as usual, Marvel Select is a 110 scale action figure line. And this is based on her appearance in Marvel Comics, of course. Featuring 16 points of articulation and a shit ton of accessories. Designed by Eamon O'Donoghue and sculpted by May Thamterana. Again, I love that Marvel Select uh, lets you know who did the work behind the figure. Nicely done paint by the Marvel Select team. Yeah, that's on point. I like that. All right, so right off the bat, I had to go take the blow dryer and uh, give it a shot at the head because it was not moving. It's scary tight. I got it to finally, I don't think I have it popped all the way in, but that might be for the best. So let's get into articulation. We have down like that. That's pretty good. Back, not so much because of the hair. And you have... Good motion once you heat that up for side to side. Shoulders, full 360. You also go up to there. Have a bicep cut. Single jointed elbow that gets you 290, but it wants to go a bit down. Um, and wrists up and down all around very nice we have a diaphragm cut back like this crunch like not so much and it makes the back kind of weird so you're kind of stuck keeping her like this kind of in a good posture and you don't get any things broken up because see you get a gap there if you go too far back we do have a waist swivel. Splits, no prob, Bob. Leg kicks out to there. You have thigh swivel. Knees get you less than 90. And not much back. Going down. Do we have a boot cut on this? Nope. There's no boot cut on the clear legs. Ankle up like that, down like that, and good rocker. So there you go. So just to show, articulation is pretty much the same in the other legs. I'm going to switch later. But it is the same why would it not be and yep no boot cut there either so there's the leg all right let's get into accessories because this they have just killed it with this figure and what you get i separated uh, her legs because just to show all the things that could be interchanged with the figure as well so you do get a base 
she can stand in there. There's two pegs. Comes with a stand for inside that. Uh, it might help to hold up something like this or that so her arm doesn't fall down. Uh, Sue Storm is not a flying superhero, if I'm not mistaken. So for her to levitate doesn't make much sense unless, you know, the bubble is doing it. Um, we get two pairs of legs changing and costumed. We have this orb, orby kind of thing. It's not exactly a circle. It's, uh, it's a bunch of indents around it. Could maybe work for Iceman as well. It's a little bit of white frosting on there. Um, that goes on her hand. It's pretty cool. Stay. And we get this, a shield hand. Very nicely done. You just plug that into the wrist and off you go. Now, we get bracers, costumed and invisible. We get grasping hands for both modes. Yes, she's a transformer. Her alt mode is invisible. Um, two sets of power using slash reaching out hands. And two pairs of fists. Um, the only thing that doesn't change is the head. Which I'm not even complaining about. No other alternate head sculpt. Big deal with what they give. Can't have everything. Especially for this price point. I mean, $5 more where I'm from than like a Marvel Legend. Why would I? Why would you waste your money? Uh, anyways, scale, yes, maybe. I'm not, look, I'm not going to get into it. But this is the only other thing. They didn't give you like a torso of her going full invisible. Which again, which again is like, you know, come on. There she is with the shield effect on. And balance is really good. Good stuff. Now, I used a black fist, but it would clearly be better with a clear one inside there. But just to show you guys, there's the other effect going on. Right off the bat, we're going to put her next to her husband, Mr. Fantastic. And that looks really good. Sadly, I don't own the Human Torch figure from Marvel Select. He is on his way after getting um, Sue. I figured, you know what, I got to go all in with the team. I passed him up a few times, but I'm going to uh, pull the trigger. Not so much on the Thing figure. I'm, I hope they redo the Thing. He looks a little strange in Marvel Select. But here we go, Reed. This, this looks great. Here we have the Invisible Woman next to the Invisible Woman from Marvel Legends. Oh, that head sculpt is is a bad... Uh, there's not even a reason to do a comparison for this, like a, just a separate video, because it's just... Uh, Marvel Select blows her out the water. I mean... At the time, I bought this just to complete the team from uh, Marvel Legends, but... Uh, yeah, I'm going to try and uh, either use this for custom fodder or just, uh, you know, box her up or sell her. Uh, better in a lot of ways. Mostly every way. So that color is more for the cartoon from the 90s. This is more comic book, so it's not the it's supposed to be the exact same costume, but... But I greatly prefer the Marvel Select. Yep. We're going to go through the whole team of the Marvel Legends side. Here is the Human Torch. Retro card. Here we got Mr. Fantastic from Marvel Legends. And not a very good figure either. Uh, the Marvel Select one is hands down the better figure. So here we got the Thing a.k.a. Ben Grimm, next to the Invisible Woman. And the scale is off. But I really like this Marvel Legends thing figure. It's really well done. Uh, it's just a shame he's uh, on the smaller side. So you can't really mix. Another Marvel Legend, the Orb. Because the Orb is always going to be in the videos. Here we have another Marvel Select figure, Beta Ray Bill, and 
the Immortal Hulk. All right, and that's going to do it for our look at Marvel Select's Invisible Woman. A great addition to the line. Looks good next to Mr. Fantastic. Tons of accessories. Um, articulation is pretty good. Not the best, but it does the job. And it's such bang for your buck. I mean, it gets harder and harder to defend Hasbro at this point and the Marvel Legends side of things. Uh, it's crazy uh, the amount of stuff you get with these Marvel Select figures. And I'm happy to keep buying them. They keep putting out these comic book figures. I will keep picking them up. All right, as for a final score for the Invisible Woman, I'm going to give her a 7.9. Really well done. Paint is good. The head sculpt's a lot better than that Marvel Legends one. Um, would I have liked another head sculpt? Sure. But I can't complain with the amount of extras I got with this. Good job, Marvel Select. And if you guys see this in the wild, pick it up. If you have it on order, you're going to enjoy it. All right, and that's it for this video, guys. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe, share, like. Leave some comments down below. I want to know what you think about this, about my review, about Marvel Select in general. Um, if you like what they're doing, let me know. And I'll catch you guys next time. Big Cat out. Thank you.